Hello everyone and welcome to the Dice Commando YouTube channel. I'm Andrew with you here as always. This is Go Again, a fabulous video cast covering the trading card game Flesh and Blood. This video and others like this one are possible thanks to viewers like you. Please show your support with a like and subscribe and be sure to hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss any new videos. If you want to get involved with the channel, consider becoming a channel member. There are many benefits to channel membership including access to our Discord, exclusive deck tech and strategy videos, and the opportunity to help create channel content. I want to sincerely thank all our channel members, as I truly couldn't do this without your support. You guys rock. Go Commando. Ira, Ira, Ira. No, no, don't click away. This is not yet another Ira Bitch Fest video. Now, her her dominance, her prevalence, whatever you want to call it in Blitz, certainly can't be denied. The, the data backs it up, and it makes complete sense why people would be feeling frustration and Ira, Ira fatigue, if you want to call it that. However, what I'm asking today and kind of talking, you know, larger picture is, is it really Ira, or or is it the Kadachis that play a huge part in that, or or both? I mean, you, you can't deny that Ira is performing well with the Kadachis. She hasn't been performing with her sword, but of course, why would you use that when you have the Kadachis? And on the counter argument, you have some of the other ninjas who, who are not performing as well with the Kadachis. So certainly it's the combination of the two that work really, really well together. So in today's video, I kind of want to talk, you know, the overarching, you know, implications of that going forward in that heroes can rotate out, maybe not in Blitz, but heroes can rotate out, but, but as of right now, weapons don't. Hey folks, welcome back to Dice Commando. Thanks very much for joining me uh, again today and tuning in. You know, it's been a, a bit of a slow week in terms of fab content on the channel. I did my, my case opening last week and I've been sorting cards and getting decks together. And on top of that, we have the skirmish at Gangai Games coming up this week and I, I'm going to be running that for them or to TOing it for them, I guess, whatever. And we've been putting a lot of work into that to make sure that it lands and it's a really great event because it's our first IRL event that we've had since the pandemic started and it's super like I'm so stoked like it's gonna be awesome so like I said we put, put in a lot of work want to make sure it lands trying to make sure everything's organized so that's where a lot of my efforts been uh there as well so hopefully you can see as many of you guys out uh and joining us there as as possible so yeah today it's very important to me that today not be taken today's video discussion not be really taken as a, as a complaint on Ira or any, any one thing in particular. I'm not saying Ira's busted. I'm not saying the Kadachis are busted. I'm certainly not. However, I, I, I think it's it's kind of an interesting discussion to really talk about, you know, the, the implications of the fact that we have a non-rotating format. We have checks and balances in to keep specific heroes out, but we don't have anything to keep specific weapons out. And I, I think that's really interesting to look at. You know, the, the one, of course, that we're talking about today because of its implication and strength is, is Kadachis. I mean, the, the Kadachis in what they do with getting that natural go again, getting those small, small stabs in, I think is always going to be always going to be relevant, especially in Blitz, right? It may not be as, I mean, you know, we've, we haven't seen Katsu or anybody else. Granted, he's the only one for Classic Construct that I grant you, but, you know, we haven't seen them make huge waves in you know classic constructed events yet um but you know as this game grows and continues it's no secret we're going to continue to get more heroes and presumably more of the the existing classes right i mean maybe ninja doesn't need one earlier as some of the others do but the same argument really applies overall to you know most of the other heroes right you look at something like anathos anathos is a fantastic fantastic weapon and you know, does it get better over time as we get new heroes? I mean, we, we've seen, you know, we've seen a very, uh, something very similar with Bolton, right? Right now, one of the more popular fun builds out there is Bolton Sabres, right? The Centauri Sabres were very clearly meant to go with Kasai overall. But, you know, do, does that carry, you know, Bolton can do stuff. And I, I think you you see what I'm saying there, right? So, but, but focusing in on, you know, kind of the topic, which is Ira and the Kadachis, at least in Blitz, again, right? This is obviously Blitz focused because we're talking about Ira. Is Ira herself too good? Quote, right. If if you're of the position that Ira is too good in Blitz, or let, let's 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 take a step back on that, right? 
Ira's very good in blitz, right? Nobody can, or whether she's broken, whether she's busted, whatever. She's very good in blitz, right? There's, there's no secret there. The data backs that up. It's not really a point of contention. Would Ira be as good as Ira is today if she was stuck using her, her standard weapon or her, her associated weapon, right? Would she be? I, I don't think she would be as good, right? So let's say down the road, we move into some, because it's, it's been discussed, I, I think it's a reasonable conversation to have that right now, Classic Instructed for the major events sets the, the legendary status for heroes, which then rotates them out, right? Let's say down the road, we do get some sort of legendary status for Blitz. Ira rotates out. Was it because Ira was too good? Or was it, was, was it because the Kodachis were too good, right? What's the check and balance in terms of that for keeping keeping weapons in check i think it's a very interesting discussion um and i and i, I don't know what the right answer is i mean clearly clearly what you would have to do is you would have to see you know let's let's say five years down the road well ira rotated out because of the kadachis and then benji became a force i i don't necessarily think that's the case because benji's not popping up but maybe it's just because ira's better than benji um I don't know. I mean, maybe the way to collect the data on that would be to run Benji into a bunch of stuff and see if see if he pops up as much. I I don't know, right? But I, I think Benji's going to struggle with how prevalent Kano is in the format. So, but down down the rabbit hole, right? But but let's say a couple years down the line, right? Ira's been rotated out, or actually, let's let's take the Blitz part out of it, right? Because I know there's a lot of passion around that. Let's say classic constructed down the line, Dor- Dorinthia eventually looks to be on track to five years, right? She's probably going to win enough over the years. Let's say Dorinthia rotates out. Dawnblade basically is, I mean, it's basically her weapon. Nobody else really uses it at this point. But let's say some other hero comes in and wins again with Dawnblade and then gets retired to legendary status. At what point do we ask the question, is is the weapon too good, right? Or are, are, the, are the tools too good, right? I mean, you could even, I guess... I mean, we're way off topic here, but I guess you could, you know, extend that argument to Skullcap, right? Is 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 every hero that has won in the last, I mean, again, that's bad example with Ira here and Mask of Momentum, but, you know, is, is every hero that's retired legendary status, do they use Skullcap nine times out of ten? I mean, chances are, in most cases, yes, right? Um, except for my, my girl, Azalea, who can't even run the damn Skullcap, but... Um, but I, I think it's an interesting conversation overall, right? So, you know, take take the passion of Ira versus the Kadachis out of it. The the overarching question I, I think is there, and I think I think it's valid and an interesting discussion. So, you know, kind of uh, what I want to hit on, and then we'll, we'll get out of here because you know it's a, pr- a pretty short, floated discussion, I suppose. But you know, Ira with her weapon is it is it as good? Can it do? what Ira does today. And and I think the answer with Ira lies no, because you take the, you know, the 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 stab stab kick or stab stab punch or or whatever, stab stab big that you can do with the Kadachis is a very general strategy that for the most part a ninja can become pick and play. And now of course Ira's best position for that because you just get the free plus one on your basically free swing. But the Kadachis in them themselves lead to the very, very strong performance strategy that we've seen be successful for Ninja, which is stab, stab, fatigue, right? I mean, that's what it really is. It's like, you know, stab, stab, kick, stab, stab, punch, whatever we call it. But what it really is, is stab, stab, fatigue. And you combine that with flick, flack, and, you know, it. and I've heard proposals, well, maybe flick, flack needs changed whatever, they, they will find, right, players will find other ways to continue to take advantage of that fatigue strategy. and Because that's what the Kadachis really facilitate is they facilitate punching through damage in a repeatable way. It's not big damage, but it adds up. So it allows you to play a defensive control E type strategy while continuing to just continuing to just punch it through. And yes, Ira is best positioned for that because of her plus one on the second one. It's just free damage or it forces them to block inefficiently or whatever it may be. So that, I mean, yes, Ira is the best position to use it. But the overall strategy for Ninja is basically set, 
right? And barring printing of new actual cards and new new heroes and stuff like that, there's really no reason for Ninja at this point to ever really branch off that strategy because it's very, very efficient and it's very, very effective, right? So I, hopefully you're starting to see my argument here on why I wanted to focus in on the Kadachis for this part of the discussion is, you know, you compare the Kadachi line of play, which is so set and stable overall. And yes, the you know the, the kick punch card, whatever it be, might change based on your hero. Maybe you're playing life for a life and trying to do it with Benji or whatever, right? But if you compare that to someone like a Dorinthia, right? Dorinthia's strategy is pretty set with Dawnblade. But if Dorinthia goes away, is Dawnblade as effective, right? Anathos, Anathos might be actually a very similar argument to the Kadachis, right? Because, you know, if Bravo goes away, you can still pretty much do the Anathos blue pummel strategy. So, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe that's valid as well. Um, I, you know, may, I don't know if we've seen the same success as, you know, Romping Club and, and we can go down the list, but hopefully you see kind of the overall takeaway here is that Right now, I feel that the Kadachis have really defined the ninja strategy, and I think it's going to be hard, barring crazy power creep, to really fundamentally change the way that ninja overall plays, right? Of course, you get your you know pieces you can swap in and out, but overall, there's really no reason for ninja not to play the stab-stab-kick fatigue strategy. So that's why I wanted to focus in on, you know, maybe the Kadachis are something we need to look at changing i mean not not necessarily changing but like maybe maybe that's something we need to think about from a long term you know five years down the road type of thing is like at what point are we tired of seeing kadachis on the table regardless of if ira rotated out two years ago right so anyway that's just it for today i'd be very interested in hearing kind of i know it was kind of all over the place today but you know it's just sharing thoughts and that's kind of the way it goes so i'd be very interested to hear what what you guys think um what you've seen in other games how they've handled stuff like that, because I'm sure that, you know, when you have this mix and this, you know, this okay to mix and match type thing, that's naturally what happens is you find kind of super efficient. I mean, that's what these games do. These games always gravitate towards efficiency, right? And Ira Kadachis is very efficient because Kadachis are very efficient, which means that they're not going to stop being efficient. So yeah, very, very curious to hear kind of what your guys' thoughts are, where you think we might go on this. And yeah, so, you know, join the conversation below. I do want to remind everybody again of the skirmish at Gongai Games this weekend. There are still slots open. Come join us. It's going to be awesome. I uh, also want to give a shout out to my boy at Fab Foundry. I got my, after I got, or after I opened my stuff, I actually put my singles order in. Uh, I got all the stuff I needed for my Bolton Classic Constructed. Awesome. He does a great job does a great job to make sure you go over there check him out you can use the link below and give me a small kickback so i can keep getting more stuff much appreciated helps helps keep me get the cards i need to keep doing what we're doing here so anyway folks thanks very much for joining if nothing else go commando